Well, first you got to give you got to give TCU a lot of credit. I thought they played well. I thought they played their style. Uh, I don't think we helped them coming out both halves. We were not as engaged as we wanted to be. Started the game off minus nine. Started the second half off minus eight. Whatever it was, I thought that set the tone. I was proud of our guys on how we fought back. You know, but just you know, so many mistakes happened and so many things. You know, we had opportunity and just didn't capitalize on it. And you can see their veteran leadership throughout the game. They, they capitalized on a lot of our mistakes. You know, we're going to try to put this one behind us real quick as we have a, uh, you know, very tough game coming up on the road. We got to get back home, um, you know, and prepare for a roadie team. Uh, so, you know, we got a couple of desperate teams uh, coming off of, uh, you know, we're coming off a really, really hard loss. So, you know, we know we got a hard game to prepare for. So we got a, we got a lot of work to do in a short period of time to do it. Ed, your, your team got caught on a lot of shot clock violations. Was that because of the defense or some indecision on your offense? I think it was a lot. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't know if you can answer that in one, one word or one, one sentence. It was their defense. It was our bad offense. It was our lack of recognition. It was our lack of aggression. Um, bad coaching, you know, you name it, it was all involved in it. But give them credit, they caused the turnover. So I'd say it was their good defense. Can't hear you, Kevin, if you're asking a question. Yeah, well, what do you point to in both starts? Uh, obviously, you had the two senior guards out there at the time, and, uh, you know, it was a tough night for the two of them. I think that's an understatement. You know, that's an understatement to say it was a tough night. Um, you know, we got to we got to evaluate that, you know, guys got to come out with a purpose. Uh, and again, I think you got to give their defense a lot of credit. You know, when you're at the top of a scouting report, people are going to know your game. So, you know, you got to you got to prepare for that emotionally and physically and try to overcome that. You know, that that definitely hurt us for sure. And, and Bryce got going late. Uh, was he maybe a little too passive in the first half or you just couldn't find him or that just really wasn't what you were looking to do? We're trying to get some ball movement and, you know, you got to give their defense credit. They kind of locked in and dialed in on that. You can also see our lack of synergy and chemistry, you know, offensively. Um, you know, we still got a way to go. We still got a way to go to build that. You know, we looked at a different lineup today to try to go a little bit bigger. Um, don't know if that worked. It didn't work. We came up with the L, so probably, you know, we still got some work to do in, uh, to, to build our team and our rotation. Ed, they said on the broadcast that, you know, this was going to be an important game in terms of, you know, where this team stood. How much – you don't want to use one game to, as a snapshot, but do you see this game potentially shaping things going forward for you in terms of maybe rotation and other moves? Well, I think it's way too early to say this one game is going to define what where we're trying to go. You know, it's a non-conference game on the road against a high-quality opponent. They return, you know, basically their whole team from a year ago. You know, they have the preseason player of the year. They have one of the best bigs in the country that in the post that playing at home. You know, it's, I mean, it, we'll learn a lot from it. But to define a season on game eight, first of all, we play in the best conference in the country, the Big East. So we'll have a chance to make some games up. We don't want to lose games like this yet. You know, I'm not going to say it's a, a defining moment. We're going to learn from all of our games. And this is just another one to learn from. Hey, Ed, any idea why, um, you know, any conclusion why maybe Noah uh, has been slow against some of the, the better teams here in the first couple of weeks? Don't know. You know, I mean, we'd sit down and talk to him. Um, you know, we're going to depend on him. You know, it's a long season. You know, you know, these games are coming fast, so we got to try to get some answers quick. Um, maybe he's just trying to get comfortable. Uh, you know, they know he can really shoot, so he has a lot of great defenders on him. Uh, you know, let, let's. I thought we fought in, in spurts of the game. I was proud of our guys on how, how we bounced back. Uh, we just didn't capitalize. We had a couple of turnovers. We missed 10 or 11 free throws. Uh, we had some critical turnovers out in transition where, you know, those are just really energy drainers when you're playing against a good team. You got to play, uh, you know, I'm not going to say perfect, but you have to play really well in order to win on the road against a really good team. Any more questions? I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon.